Hi, my name is Todd Mottershead. I'm a technologist at Dell. I'm here today to talk to you about our new XS product line. With me is a 650XS, the R650XS. This is a, our latest design. It's just coming out in the middle of July. What's exciting about this is a couple of things. First of all, it's been designed specifically to optimize customers' VMware environments. Now, what does that mean? Well, VMware has got a couple of elements that are really, really important. If you wanted to run, for example, a vSAN, then what we found in testing is that our new E810 NIC gives incredible performance in vSAN. It almost doubles the performance of an application like SQL Server when you put it into a vSAN environment. This server has that available. In other environments, for example, we've seen up to nine or seven times better performance under RAID conditions uh, when you use our new NVMe RAID controller which is obviously an option available for this product as well. But most importantly, from a design perspective, the latest version of, of ESXi or vSphere supports up to 32 cores natively. Beyond that, you have to purchase additional licenses, so it can get expensive. What we're hearing from most customers is they were, tend to stay within that limit. So we designed these new products to include support for 32 core processors, but we didn't add support for the higher end processors. A couple of reasons for that. One is they draw a lot more power. Anything that can draw power requires us to increase the power budget for the system. In this case, we have redundant power supplies. The customer can go as low as 600 watts and have these systems work perfectly. But some of our higher end systems, for example, would require an 800 watt power supply simply because they have more dims, they may have more disks, they may have other technologies that aren't necessarily going to help an ESXi environment. Now on that note, this system only has 16 dims. The R750 and the R650 have 32 dims. So why did we go with 16 here? Again, it comes down to how customers use the technology. If you're taking a 32 core CPU and you have two of them in here, that's 64 cores. Now you can have hyper-threading enabled. That gives you 128 threads available for, for a, a virtualized environment. In many cases, customers will try to keep one CPU or one thread available for each VM. That would mean 128 VMs. Now we looked at that problem, we said if you had 128 VMs, how much memory would you need per virtual machine? Depends. We see customers deploying one gigabyte for, for some um, Red Hat or SUSE Linux environments. We see them supporting up to eight, for example, as something a little bit more robust like Microsoft Windows comes along. Uh, but the point was, we did the math and we realized that 64 gig DIMMs are the same price per gigabyte as 32 gig DIMMs. If you look at it from that perspective, this supports 16 64 gig DIMMs, which is a terabyte of memory. You divide a terabyte by that 128 virtual machines you want, you've got eight gigabytes of memory per VM. If you have fewer VMs, you can have more um, gigabytes per memory. So the point was, this was the optimal number of DIMM sockets. Now, by reducing it from 32 to 16, it created some additional huge benefits. It helped with the power budget I mentioned before, because we don't have to account for power for 16 more slots. But very importantly, it allowed us to dramatically reduce the cost of the motherboard. The reason for that is 16 DIMMs means over 4,600 traces that we could remove from the design. If you do the math, again, a DIMM, a DDR4 DIMM has 288 pins. Take 288 multiplied by 16, you end up with over 4,600 pieces of wire that we would have had to embed in this motherboard to make that system work. By removing that, we can reduce layer counts, we can reduce size, we can do a lot of things to dramatically reduce the power consumption and the cost of the board itself. So we looked at all of these elements put together. Great storage solution, exactly the same as what we offer with the 650 and 750. Fabulous NIC selection, exactly the same as we offer with our high-end products, the 650 and 750. High-end processors up to 32 cores, exactly what customers need. Optimal memory design specific for their business needs. Perfect. Uh, and oh, by the way, when we roll this up into a, a design that is optimized for VMware, as we've done with the XS product, we can reduce the cost significantly because we've taken the costs out of things like the motherboard, um, as well as we have less cooling required and power supplies, so it can be less expensive.